Hello, everyone. During COVID, our prayers are with all the people who are affected, and our gratitude and big thank you to all the frontline healthcare staff, especially our GSF parents, who are bravely taking on this fight as a national service and playing a pivotal role in saving lives. The COVID-19 pandemic has engulfed all of us like a tsunami, and this has caused a defining moment in the school education, which will lead us to the next new normal of school education, something we have never seen before, of a scale that was never imagined, and that is the virtual schools and the virtual classrooms. Our schools in Japan and Singapore would incorporate social distancing and operate on a hybrid model where up to 50% of the students would be physically in the classrooms and the rest would be joining virtually from their homes or other locations. This hybrid model will also allow social distancing to be practiced at the school cafes and the school buses as well. This is a new normal. This is a transformative moment for education, for schools, and our young students are fortunate to experience the emergence of this transformative moment. This is a moment like when social media first emerged, like the search engines, like Google emerged, like the dot-com emerged. The key word here, ladies and gentlemen, is scale, the scaling of the classrooms. Just over a year ago, in an interesting conversation I had with Mr. Nikesh Arora, CEO of SoftBank, we both agreed we needed scale in classrooms, but did not see a compelling reason to drive classrooms to become virtual. And I think this COVID is that trigger moment. Till now, school content was abundantly available online. Learning management systems or LMS systems allowed assignment management over the digital platforms. Plenty of apps to do plenty of things, but where audio and video calling between teacher and students was limited to a very small group of four to five students, that has now completely changed. What was the prerogative of few adults in their offices is now available to every student. So what's the big trigger moment or the big transformation that's happening in the school education today? Thanks to scalable technology, the face-to-face -face teacher interactions is now going fully scaled up and can apply not just to hundreds of students, but to thousands and millions of students at the same time. You can still have an eye contact with the teacher, and the teacher can see what's going on with the students, how they respond, and how their body language changes, and yet control the entire class with a click of a button. Mobiles were already students' best friends, and now mobiles would become the new king bringing classroom experience to their mobiles. So parents will not have to weigh in on the upside and downside. Schools will now become any day, any time, 24 by 7, evening schools, night schools, fully scalable schools that have now become a reality. On-demand classroom lectures will be abundantly available. Homeschooling may take new forms where you can participate in live lessons outside your homes. We will see the emergence of hybrid schools, which will enroll students who are never going to physically attend the schools, but always able to join via their mobiles. The best teacher on the planet can now virtually teach any school, any student seamlessly, instead of being physically attached to any single school. Teachers can now make regular guest appearances at schools to give expert lectures on schooling subjects. Freelancing teachers, too, would find multiple schools as a choice of profession instead of teaching at a single school. While the brick-and-mortar ecosystems of attending morning schools and evening schools, or evening tuitions, for that matter, always existed. Parents would now have wider choices of schools and tuitions from not just their own cities, but different cities, 
and maybe different countries to see what is best suited for their student. And the most interesting part, the best school education would now be available and affordable to thousands and millions, not just limited to a few. GSF schools took safety to the next level, beyond just having compliances to fire and safety, to OSHAs for occupational injury hazards within the campuses, to ISO 9000, to ISO 14000, to ensure all campuses have common and certified processes benchmarked to the best standards in the world. And now, including standards on mental health of the child and safety of the students. You can watch a Spotify podcast of my interview with a local radio station on mental health, which was conducted just a few days ago. The GSF schools even have processes for dealing with natural calamities like tsunami, pandemics like COVID, SARS, H1N1, etc. We are prepared to deal with these and minimize the disruptive learning to our students. We have even incorporated learnings from our very own personal experiences to what student safety means. From being present inside the campus when a fire incident broke out at one of our under construction campuses. For COVID, we have taken a number of measures to ensure that all the guidelines by the local authorities are mandatorily implemented in our schools. There is a daily review of procedures in all campuses, like sanitization of premises, temperature taking activities, provision of masks, and implementation of safe distancing measures. Personal hygiene needs to be a top priority for all of us, as well as following the mandatory and suggested guidelines, including staying at home, getting quarantined, following the one meter distance social distancing rule, and for those who are required to do so. GSF schools are also ready with appropriate measures if the infection comes closer than necessary. You can now also listen to a recent webinar conducted by our GIS experts on the COVID measures taken by the schools. And the same can be heard on Spotify. We have also sent you a comprehensive email on the steps taken by the GIS campuses. We request our parents to support and cooperate with us, as well as educate their wards at home to follow the correct procedures, which would keep everyone safe. Alerting us to those who have violated the rules will help us deal with the situation at our end and keep our students safe at all times. Students would also approach their teachers if they come across rule breakers or are suspected cases. We urge everyone to download the Trace Together app, which is a very good initiative, which has been specially designed to keep a tab on proximities and contacts that every person does. And this would help in containing the COVID. This app is available in some countries like Singapore, and we have made a special request to the Singapore government to make this app available to other countries as well. Currently, we are facing growing concerns over the menace of COVID-19. We at GIS understand that parents may have a number of concerns and that questions over the steps taken by the schools towards the safety of their children. It is our duty and responsibility to make this happen. With school education being impacted too, GSF has set up an international response center, or in short called IRC, for all our campuses and has been quick to take action to curtail the fallout for the students at GIIS and at One World International Schools. Our teams in Japan, Singapore, UAE and India and Malaysia have put measures in place that will allow smooth functioning of the schools with proper precautionary measures in place. Our parents' help desk at helpdesk.sg at globalindianschool.org will act as a coordinating help desk across all the campuses, and it will address the parent concerns and issues. A WhatsApp IRC number will also be emailed to you. 
so that it's easier for you to connect with us at any point. We thought of this years back when GI schools were actually caught in the fury of the March 2011 tsunami, exactly nine years from now. And that led to an ideation between our staff and teachers on how we can make our schools operate even in a force major. When we were designing the smart campuses around the world, we were armed with huge experience of national emergencies of the past like SARS, H1N1, Japan tsunami, etc., which had been detrimental to the smooth functioning of the schools. Learning from the experiences, we incorporated special designs in new campuses which would help us weather such calamities. I'm proud to say that our new schools designed as schools of the future and smart campuses were well ahead of the curve when it came to the 21st century learning by continuing to carefully incorporate highly selective digital technology as a part of our facilities and providing digital tools to all the students as part of the next-gen learning process, we have ensured that we embrace newer methods of teaching and learning to provide maximum benefits to the students. Our virtual classrooms are an example of the far-sightedness of GSF, and the usefulness of these have now proven at this important juncture. GSF is doing all it can to extend all kinds of support to the families who may be affected during this pandemic. Economic hardships can befall on some during this time, which is why GSF has several scholarships. We have recently announced the GIS Resilience 2020 scholarship that will support the students from families whose cash flow may be affected. GSF is also prepared to assist parents with ad hoc relief measures. The details of a scholarship can be seen at scholarships.globalindianschool.org. We will go to all extent to even facilitate student loans in conjunction with financial institutions for parents who may approach the schools. Besides this, let's also take the time to teach our children about resilience in these trying times. As elders, it is our duty to make every new generation mentally, physically, and psychologically strong. This will go a long way in making them responsible citizens as well. Parents, where feasible, who themselves want to contribute meaningfully to help out the community organizations, may write to the help desk and we will connect them with suitable community organizations who are seeking such volunteers. This COVID, which has the effect of force majeure and which people have forgotten, is likely to drive something very good for our students' school education. It is going to force schools to adopt new, new normals at a speed that will surpass everyone's imagination. Remember, these times require us to come together and stay cohesive at all times. So let's join hands together to fight this pandemic and emerge on the other side, winners that we all are.